Hello and welcome to Just Tech Talk. In this channel, I talk about different tutorials, walkthroughs, installation videos, troubleshooting videos. I do reviews of some products and unboxing of the products. If you are new to this channel, just click on subscribe and turn notifications on so that you get the notification about all new videos. So today we are going to look at how to install Windows Server 2022. So yes, we have 2022 in the market. So now we are going to look at how to install 2022 Windows in VMware Workstation. Similar goes for ESXi, similar goes for physical. How you do it, you just need to have a bootable media and then you would be using it uh, to install the windows. In my case, I'm going to use uh, over VMware Workstation. So let's begin with that. Now let's go to home over here, create a virtual machine. I prefer to go with custom so that I can choose things up. I go next, I'm going to choose 2019, uh, 2019 because I don't have 2022, but it's not a big problem. And they are almost similar. Let's go next. I'll say maybe I'm going to use it for some other purpose later. So I'm going to use it like this. I'm going to keep it in my virtual machine directory and D drive. Let's say next UFE boot. Next, I'm going to change it to four. Next. Let's keep it 8 GB for now during the installation because I'm going to install with the graphical interface. And then let's click next, 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 next over here, next. I'm going to allocate 120 GB for this single hard drive. I don't split into multiple files. Next, next. I'm going to click on customize my hardware. I'm going to remove my printer from here because I don't need that in the DVD part. I'm going to browse to my installation media. I have ISO already downloaded. If you don't know how to get that, I'm going to put a URL link in my description from where you can download um, Windows Server 2022 evaluation version. And of course, you need your license to activate it. In my lab, it's just a test environment. I can live with evaluation versions also. So I'm going to click close over here, finish. And now we are going to begin the powering on and installation of this. Let's maximize this. Click on finish, start. I'm going to boot from DVD, CD, DVD drive. And it's a similar a Windows uh, installation process where it is going to go with uh, different things. And yes, let's begin with that. So for language and um, time and currency format, keyboard format, you can choose as per your country, whatever is your preferable one. I'm going to use US and going to click over here as next. I'm going to click install now. Of course, it is going to start the setup. It prepares things in the background and later it, uh, it is going to show us the installation wizard over here. Yeah. So let's click on standard edition next. So I'm going to use standard desktop edition over here. Accept the license agreement. Click on custom. This is your hard drive, which you have mapped to this virtual machine. I'm going to click next. It is going to format it, copy Windows Server operating system, and then it is going to begin the installation. Normally, this getting files ready for installation takes little time. Installing features are very quick. Uh, installing features and installing updates are very quick. So it, shouldn't take that much time. The only time which we take normally is at this getting files ready for installation. It takes a little time. So what I'm going to do is I'm in the editing. I'm going to skip this wait 
and I'm going to go directly to maybe the finishing of this part or maybe when we are near to complete this area so I'm going to keep my video edited at that po point of time so if you see now it's just about to finish over here and we'll see once this is completed next steps will be very very quick yeah as said installing files didn't take any time because it is done as part of this area itself and now installing updates takes little uh, time not that much like maybe few seconds around 30 seconds to 60 seconds and this should be done also but depending on um, how big your updates are so it's done now it is it is going to finish it, finish it up and then it is asking to restart the operating system normally I do remove OS media but let's go with it without removing and see how does it go let it restart and you should see and you see this time it has not asked me to boot through bootable media because my BIOS first priority is from the hard drive so that is the reason if I had a first priority as my operating system using CD or DVD ROM it must have given me option to boot it from there This portion takes little time because of course it is preparing your windows for the first time use but once it is done it would be really quick. and here we go okay now let's see let's okay this is not the good view let's see okay now let's log in into the windows server 2022 yes so here we are and if you see now we are in server 2022 let me just change this because it doesn't look good I would suggest if I go with this I think that should be okay let's see maybe and go with a little bit here. Yeah. And just to show you, this is my Windows Server 2022. You can also view this over here itself. And of course, as it is a, an evaluation copy, it is valid for 180 days. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked the video. Hit the like button. Leave a comment below to let me know what do you feel about this video. And till next video, take good care of yourself. Bye.